Hello everybody, my name is Liam, and I'm coming back at you with another video on fantasy hockey daily pickups and predictions. I like showing that video because I like seeing the players having some fun during the games. Let's just jump right into it. So, I just also just wanted to promote Echo Sia for every 45 searches you do on their search engine, they'll plant a tree. Mostly in Senegal, but either way, it helps out the environment. So let's go to today's matchups. Yesterday, we'll go over that as well, but I'm just going to jump into today's matchup, get you some predictions, and pick up options for today. We'll do a comprehensive review of last night. Don't worry about that. Uh, so we got the Penguins versus the Red Wings. Red Wings been letting up a lot of goals. Jimmy Howard could be the starter tonight. I think it's unconfirmed last time I checked daily faceoff. But nope, looks like it is confirmed. So Jimmy Howard is going tonight for sure. Uh, so he has not been good. You can see his save percentage down there. So any Penguin player, I would jump on them. They also have a game on Sunday as well. So any player you get can fit into your schedule on Sunday. I think they're playing the Coyotes on Sunday. Matt Murray should get the start uh, for the Penguins because Jari started last night in their loss to Boston. So Matt Murray's been pretty decent lately. I'm going Penguins, and I think they're going to totally outscore them. I mean, they scored seven against the Wild the other night. Uh, I'll say that they're going to bounce back from the other game, just like the Islanders did. Uh, when they lost to the Rangers the first time, and they killed the Detroit Red Wings. So I'm going to say it's going to be around 7 to 2 or 3. 7 to 2 or 3. So what's going on with the Penguins right now with the Lions? Who would I pick up? Uh, depends how deep your league is. Jarrett McCann's available. He's been really good. Obviously, the big three. Rust has been great. Lundqvist had a lot of penalty minutes last night. I have him on my team, but uh, maybe they'll try to calm him down uh, tonight. I think he got in a fight. Uh, Patrick Lundqvist still in first power play. And we got Jack Johnson. He has 300th point last night, so I'm just going to give him a shout-out. Uh, John Marino, I always talk about him. Very good defenseman. But who would I go with for a forward? Dominic Simone. Not highly owned. Very good. Uh, Dominic Cahoon, also very good as well. I think Alex Galchenyuk got on the score sheet last night. Just one. Actually, not last night. The other night, because it was Crosby who was on the score sheet with Simone and Jack Johnson. Uh, so, yeah, it was the other night. He got a goal. Uh, but, you know, it's the Red Wings, so. Anybody on the squad might be a, a good pickup tape. Bluger is going to be a shout out as well. On um, the Red Wings, where he's been decent lately. If you're looking for someone, because they're playing two games next week as well. So if you're looking ahead, they're already winning. I think they're playing the Wild next week. We'll confirm this. Uh, but. Robbie Fabry, first line. Uh, Mantha, I think he'll be back after the All-Star break. But if you're looking for someone before that, looks like Mike Green is taking Hornick's place on the top power play. Uh, I don't know why Hornick's been very good, but keep your eye on Mike Green. Maybe they're just trying to get him going. Uh, I mean, any changes you make with this team, you know, they're doing really bad, so they ought to try to do something. Shake it up. So Mike Green, first power play, look out for him. And uh, other than that, not really seeing anybody else. Uh, Philippe Sedina has been decent. Giovanni Smith is a rookie. Those are the guys that are going to get a shout-out. If you want someone to win face-offs, Phil Pilar and Nielsen both win face-offs. So. That can't. Okay, so Hornick is on the first power play, so who was dropped? I think Zadina was the one that actually was dropped. But either way, Mike Green's stock is definitely going up. 
All right, so let's move on to the next matchup. Who do we got? What, what do we got? That the Hurricanes coming on back to back. They lost to the Blue Jackets and lost Dougie Hamilton. Still, I need to check to see updates on that injury. I'm gonna go to ESPN Fantasy. Uh, they've been quicker with it as of late for me, and. Gets another surge towards that 45. Plant that tree. Help out the environment. Alright. Let's just check daily face off while it's loading. So, news, injuries. I'm sure Dougie Hamilton will be top of the list. Yeah, he is. Okay. Forced to leave. Uh, suffered an ugly injury. Doesn't really tell him I'm doing anything that dirty, it just got tangled up. Doesn't look good. Long term. Okay, so look for Jake Gardner to take the place on that power play. He's been very good lately. I don't think he's owned that much. So, look into that. Jake Gardner, yep. So, daily face-off agrees. I'm not sure if they actually got any tips about that, but it looks like Jake Gardner is taking back over. I think he started the year on that first power play for a bit, but he's there. That's a very good first power play. Uh, Pese was the guy I talked about in my deep league pickups. He takes over on the second power play, which has some talent as well. Looks like Nino Nino Ritter is dropping and Eric Hull is going up. Warren Fogle also going up as well. I believe he he was the one that switched with Nino Ritter. It looks like they're shifting their lines around. Uh, Walmart is with the single. Nikas, Nikas scored uh, the other night against was it Last night or the game before that? Last night. So Nikos, he's a very good rookie. Walmart got an assist on that. And Jordan Straw with Gardner and Terravine. That was in the third, so I'm not sure if that was after Dougie Hamilton went down. But not good for Dougie. Wish him the best, of course. Solid guy. So the Ducks coming off a big win last night. I like Reamer in this matchup. and uh, He's had a good performance last time. He had a shutout, I believe. Right in the alert. Not been very good. Reamer, been good. Definitely think he will get the start tonight. Uh, so I'm going to Hurricanes in this one. I think they'll win 2-1. to one. Yeah, so I'm going 2-1. to one. I think Reamer will have a good game, even though he's both back up, so I can't actually see the Hurricanes going off. Uh, so it could be like 4-1. to one. I think Reamer will still have a good game. I'm going to say 4-1. to one. Ducks are coming off a big win last night against the Predators. And let's just check out, see who scored for them. Manson got his first of the year. Kase and Fowler. Fowler's been good, first power play. Uh, Kase was someone I brought up in my deep leagues as well. Adam Henrique with a goal. My guy Raquel with an assist gets off. And then Raquel gets a goal as well. He's heating up. Keep your eye on him. Very talented player. Derek Grant with his 10th goal of the year. And it's a shorthanded goal too. So he's got 10 goals quietly. Could be another one of those deep pickups. Uh, Manson with an assist. So a goal and an assist for Manson. He's only got one goal and four assists this year. But hey, had a good game against the Predators. Gibson, another good game. Saros, not so much. We got Arvidsson heating up. Uh, Rocco Grimaldi. Yeah, Grimaldi, 15 assists. Not too bad. So if you're... I think Arvidsson dropped down to his line. That could be... Good news for Rocco Grimaldi owners. 
which I don't think there's many of them, so Deep League pickup Rocker Grimaldi could be good. Uh, looks like Craig Smith is on the rise. He's first line now. Uh, Grunland is playing with Forsberg and Duchesne, and I think he got a goal last night out of that. He did. It was a shorthanded goal, actually, so it wasn't really, didn't have really to do with his line, but looks like John Hines is mixing it up. Benino, Grimaldi, and Arverson is actually a pretty decent line as well. I mean, I do like most of the Predators forwards. They're just, the team's defense hasn't been very good this year. Let's see the first power play. And the second power play, Torres is on that. Craig Smith. And Philippe Forsberg, my favorite player on the Predators. He did the Michigan the other night. He's very talented. Probably won't be able to get him unless you're trading. Alright, so I have the Penguins Hurricane so far, and the last game, we're going to go with the Lightning. They lost last night, but it was Curtis McElhinney starting. I believe Vasilevsky will rebound. I don't think he had the best game the last time he went out, if I remember correctly. But I think he'll rebound, and they'll beat the Jets. I don't think he'll have that great of a game, because the Jets have great offense, so 4-3. But I think he'll come away with the W at the end of the day. I think it was 4-3 last time Vasilevsky went out. So I'm going to say similar. Score line. Uh, Shirelli scored the... Didn't score. Sorry. He had an assist. So he got on the board, I should say, the other night. Uh, they did lose to the Wild. Wild. I wouldn't say they've been hot. Did they win? They definitely haven't been hot. But uh, Parise has been hot. Uh, Parise got three goals in the last couple of games, doing very well. They lost to the Penguins. That's what happened. They lost to the Penguins, but he scored twice. Uh, Felino been red hot lately. He got his 10th assist of the year. Red hot. Uh, Joel Erickson, EK, very good. And Luke Kunin, that line has been very decent. Ryan Suter getting on the score sheet with... Jordan Greenway's 12th assist of the year. And we had Kucherov scoring two. Shirelli getting in on the assist. Probably the only guy you'll be able to get in a deeper league is Shirelli. People haven't hopped on him yet. You have a chance. Stay luck with the win over a McElhaney. So, 4 3, we're going to go tonight. Take a look at the Jets lines. See if anything's changed. Nothing really changed. Love the top line, of course. Cop. I haven't seen his name popping up on the score sheet a lot lately, but he's on that good line, so you almost feel like he's due. And uh, Deep Leagues to go over Pro. Ice cold lately, but just, just keep an eye on him. He might heat up. If you're looking for someone to pick up, the Jets could be a good team as well. So, the Jets are playing not only tonight, but they are playing on Sunday against the Blackhawks. So, if you're looking to pick someone up, the Jets could be an option. We also got the Hurricanes as an option. The, the Islander, the struggling Islanders, I should say. Uh, so, yeah. Hurricanes could be an option. Penguins could be an option. You know, Tuka Rask is going to be out for this one. Not sure his timeline yet. I think they said after the All-Star break. Uh, def they said definitely after the All-Star break. Not sure if, how long term it's going to be. And, uh, yeah, so Penguins would probably be the one that I go. Just because the Detroit Red Wings are hapless at this point. So I'm really just thinking that this is going to be a high scoring game. Especially because the Penguins offense looked so good against the Wild with getting Crosby back. It just seems to all be coming together for the Penguins. But I think the Red Wings also play on Saturday. 
Maybe I'm wrong about this one. No, yeah, they don't. Okay, the mud. But if you're looking long term, if you're winning this week, got the Avalanche. Probably pick up a lot of minus in that game. Uh, if that matters in your league, if you're in like a points league, Dabry might be a good option because they got the Wild, the Jets. They got a game on Wednesday, along with their their games on tonight and wow, well, another game on Tuesday. So yeah, if you're picking someone up, the Jets would be a good option for you there. Blackhawks as well. Blackhawks play Sunday. Easily get them into the lineup. Panthers do let up a lot of goals, so Blackhawks could be someone if you had if you were one of those people like myself who picked up Kubel, I'd keep him for now. And, uh, yeah, so keep him for this week. We got the Wild having two. And it's the Panthers and the Wings. So keep an eye on that going forward. Blue Jackets also have a Sunday game uh, against the Rangers, I believe, and the Jets. So many options out there that... All going to squeeze into your lineup. The Hurricanes, as well, have another game on Tuesday, along with tonight and Sunday. So this is the time that I would be doing my pickups for the Hurricanes or the Jets. And we got the Bruins have Sunday. Oh, the Penguins as well. They got the Flyers. Usually high-scoring games. Penguins versus Flyers. So, really good options out there. Islanders also have a game Saturday, Sunday, and this Tuesday. Not been doing that well lately, but some they have been scoring goals is what. Getting a lot of shots on target too, but if you're looking forward, the Islanders, Eberle was hot. Uh, Rangers cooled him off a bit last night. Georgiev played very well. Pavillier, he is heating up. He did score against the Rangers. Uh, so water is wet there. Uh, the Rangers got a big win. Uh, Kreider scored. And uh, scored the winner. Panarin stayed hot. Still got an assist. Zabanajad, good as always. And uh, Tony D'Angelo scored an unassisted goal. I think it was unassisted. I'm pretty sure. Unless Zabanajad got an assist on it. I want to just check that. That's just something I'm checking for myself, really. Yeah, assisted none. No assist. Zabanajay got assisted on the last goal. And Bailey heating up. He scored two. He scored one against the Wings and he scored one against the Rangers. Tom Kunakel getting on the board there. And we got Pulak with the 17th assist. And Brock Nelson staying hot. Don't think you'll be able to get Brock Nelson at this point. He's He's been having a very solid season. Georgiev. Looked very solid in both games against the Islanders. But then again, it is the Islanders. Their finishing has been lackluster, to say the least. Hot topic last night, Ilya Kovalchuk. Two goals for Kovalchuk. Didn't get, okay, yeah, he didn't get assist on one. Deneau had a, a good night. Leave Deneau. Habs players are hard to get in most leagues. Because everybody talks about the Habs and... So many Habs fans, so it is hard to get these kind of players. Lucking in on that goal, deflected goal. Nick Cousins, under the radar kind of guy. And then uh, it was against Leon. Keep that in mind. The Canadians aren't that high scoring of a team, but they did play the backup on the Flyers. And some fourth liners there getting in on. The action for the Flyers. Wayne Simmons. He's been solid lately. Got a goal. I think he got an assist the other night. Uh, Will Butcher is racking up the assists recently. 
put them on the second power play. Boy, Coleman and Zajac both playing great. Zajac's been getting on the assists. Coleman's been getting the goals. OV couldn't go through this video without mentioning him. Carl Haglund's an interesting option. If shorthanded goals are big in your league, he's a good guy for it. Got so much speed. And uh, two goals. Don't let that fool you, though. He was injured for a while. Lars Eller, I mentioned him in my deep league pickups. And Richard Ponick, solid player. He was very good for the Yotes for many years. Beanstrom, mentioned him in my deep league pickups. But I am Vladislav Gurkov. <laughs> totally messed that up. Not gonna try again though. I'm Cam Atkinson back with a plum, getting a goal and an assist. Uh, Nick Felino, I did say that he could benefit from Atkinson and Bjorkshire coming back, and it looks like he is. Uh, Weinberg mentioned him on my deep late pickups as well. We got the Golden Knights with their new coach, Peter DeBoer. So I'm doing the smelling salts. I like, I like when managers show some character like that. Paul Stasny promoted to the top line since Carlson has gone down. With the golden assist, uh, Nate Schmidt on the power play, I believe. Second power play. And Haig has gotten on that second power play as well. So, worth keeping an eye on the two of them. H. Schmidt's very solid. Yep, so that's how it's looking. Chandler Stevenson, I mentioned him many of times. He got a goal on assist last night. Nemestikov, I mentioned him in my deep league pickups because he's so hot and cold. So, he's got a goal. Keep an eye on him. Uh, I prefer Connor Brown. I also mentioned him in my deep league pickups. Goal and assist, playing top line. And he's on one of the power plays, I'm sure. Again, anytime you're picking up a senator, beware of the minuses. Wow, he's not on any power play. That's, maybe that's what I remember. Okay. He was replaced. I don't remember seeing Dolph Balser on the second power play. Interesting. All right, went over the Ducks and the Preds, went over the Wild and the Lightning, uh, Jimmy Vesey, who was mentioned in my video, looks like he is playing with Reinhardt and Eichel, they always like putting them up there every once in a while, I mentioned Gergens in the video, he's there, let's see where Vizzy maybe first power play then, no. Maybe he was one of those people that just stayed on the ice longer than he should. Looks like Colin Miller is playing the forward. Interesting. They've done that with Brandon Montour as well this season, so that's that's an interesting development. Right there, Colin Miller, usual defenseman, playing forward with Vizzi and Rodriguez. Something I've seen the Islanders do before with Hickey, so it's not unprecedented. Interesting. Keep an eye on Colin Miller. Gergens brought him up. Kyle Poso brought him up as well. He's been very good lately. Two assists in this game. Rasmus Dahlin. Could he be picking it up? Potentially. Bishop and Dallas is a good defensive team. So this is a big win for the Sabres. They've been decent. For Leak brought him up. And I was happy that I did. I was on the fence. About bringing him up, but you do need to give a player time when it's a new team. But now he's got a goal and assist in his last couple, so doing quite well. Rasmus Ristolainen, really heating up. Yes, Smith mentioned him as well in my deep league pickups. Again, with these deep league pickups, just look at the matchups, look at the days that they're playing, goals against for the teams that they're playing, the goalies that are going to be playing. If they have a back-to-back, -back, they might get the backup. A lot of things to consider. Martin Jones in net. Didn't watch the game myself. On a little bit too late in London. 
might have been able to catch a little bit of it. Ryan Graves doing very well lately. Seven goals for a defenseman. Very good. Kale McCarr coming back. He might steal back that first power play spot. Because Samuel Gerard hasn't really picked up too many points since they put him there. But look at that. JT Comfort making the first power play unit. Big stuff going on there. They're really mixing it up on the first power play. Bringing Miko Rockton down to the second power play, which helps everybody down here. So, good news if you own Andre Barakovsky. Guns Courtney and Colin Wilson still injured. JT Cobb for big news for him. Avalanche just switching things up. So, yeah, let's go on to the next one. The Canucks and Vertanen was the one I wanted to mention. He's playing with Pedersen and Miller. So, and he's playing very well. I think he had like the same amount of goals last season or something, but doing very well. It was Hill. Ronta should be back soon. Dvorak been very good lately. Hall, been great lately, and Oliver ekman Larson. Got Bo Horvat, Quinn Hughes, the rookie, Tanner Pearson, very good lately, and Louis Erickson getting on the board again. He's playing first line. Edler, very consistent defender, very solid. I think I missed a couple games. Just going to scroll up. Islanders and Rangers went over that one. Yes, I missed the Flames and the Leafs. Not a lot of scoring in this one. Derek Ryan, he was brought up in my Deep League video. Should have brought up Dylan Dubre because I keep seeing his name on the score sheet. Hamannick with the sixth assist. Don't think he has many goals this season, so it doesn't have, he's not racking up the points. But Dubre been pretty solid. And Nylander, Tyson Barry on the assist, and John Tavares. Riddich was really the star of that one. The win. And uh, let's see, Crosby kind of went over this. Corrali, he was brought, he was mentioned in my my video. Deep league pickups didn't go into depth on him because those are the players I prefer, like Charlie Coyle. Brad Marchand getting the empty net goal. Halak with the victory. So good news for Halak owners. He hadn't been that great for them. But he did seem to play well against the Penguins. It looks like they're playing each other again on Sunday. So Halak will definitely get that start since he played so well. Are they playing another? Did Boston have another game? Let's see if they have back to backs. This is interesting if Rask is down. Okay, they don't. So Locke is just going to be the starter until Rask gets back, and then they might do 1 A, 1 B like they've done in the whole year. And, uh, yep, that's pretty much it for today. Any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. DM me, follow me on Twitter at HockeyFantasyD1. Follow me on Instagram at SexMantha94. And that's pretty much it for today. Have a great day.